you know, I think that was just a little rush of emotion. Zoe made one hell of a pass. On the runway, to the beach, showtime! Three, six, I wanted to make sure I put an exclamation point to the to the win. Get mad, Zach Levine, get mad. A little upset about something that happened to play before, but you know the 360 dunk was nice. <laughs> Zach Levine! How many times have I 360? Um I think at least five. Take on. Watch your head. Show us something, young fella. Did he just do that? And Zach is gonna reverse 360. Wow. You know, we're showmen, or at least I feel like I'm a showman, we're entertainers, so, you know, people pay good money to go out there, I want to put on a show. And that'll do it. You can drive home safely, Chicago. Beep, beep, heading out west. I need to get a windmill this year, though. That'll be, that'll be fun. Oh, When you watch this team, they're playing with an edge we haven't seen in a lot of years. When you have this type of matchup, it's usually all about the stars. For the Warriors, they're going to be relying on Steph as always. For the Bulls, it's interesting because we know what Levine and DeRozan are doing. You don't know how they're going to be without Nikola Vucevic. But now in the health and safety protocols, this is the first test of what's coming on this trip and play a different style. Levine drives, falling away, shot is good. Manny is so talented offensively. Starting the trip and finding out the news that Vooch wasn't going to be available, you know, that was an unfortunate thing for us. It's a great opportunity for somebody else to step in and step up. Johnson the rebound, puts it back, goes right up, knocks it in. Yeah, with no Vucevic, the likes of Alizé Johnson, Tony Bradley playing a little bit more. Draymond Green, three-pointer, that's good! Draymond Green! Goal of State up by 15 right now. Largest lead, 19. Curry again. 32 for Curry. That's his seventh three. We played great. First half defensively was scrambling, moving around, but you know we got to sustain that for 48 minutes. Tonight was was a new challenge that we got to face and understand for the next few games. We're not gonna have Vooch. So how we going? Um, manage that, how we're going to figure that out um, and come together as a collective. Another dominant win to keep the winning streak alive. 26 point victory for Golden State. Really our first adversity and that's where adversity builds a lot of character so I'm pretty sure we're going to look at a lot of film tomorrow, figure out what we could do and what we could be better at um, next game. You know and it's a, it's a great learning experience for us to understand we just got a butt whoop and you know how we going to respond after that. We at home, baby. <laughs> We're at Jersey, yeah, man. Let me I see. try to look for it. Growing up here, man, was everything, man. Taught me how to be a man, uh, how to be relentless. Taught me all the qualities of, of life that I carry to this day. You see the 10 up there? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely an honor just for my name to be up there. I'd be here for a year and accomplish things that I accomplished and be recognized. We got a couple UCLA guys that I'm about to make fun of. Definitely cool to be back. Lovely night in Los Angeles. The Bulls and the Red Hot Clippers, who have won seven in a row, coming up from the West Coast. Showtime in LA. You ready? Let's do it. All right. Bulls and Clippers coming up from Staples Center. On the right elbow, Lonzo Ball for three. Bam! That's a big shot right there. Nice save. Had to grab it from Zubats, who was trying to get that pass back out. Zubats giving DeMar DeRozan a lot of room, and he must not have got the scouting report on DeMar. Levine to Javante Green with a hammer dunk with a right-handed slam. Ooh. Oh, boy, on the break. Oh, Luke Javante Bernard. Green, look out below. You cannot let this team get going. Paul George has really showed his work. DeRozan will try to take Jackson. Off the turn and fire. He oh, got it. Oh, Compton's in the house. I'll tell you something about playing at home, man. Four or six from the field. Tim Boyd. 
you got to respond if you want to be a good team, especially after getting your butt whooped like we did the other day. We got to figure it out. Nobody's going to feel sorry for us. Um, we got to go out there, next guy up, um, and continue to just keep fighting and figure this thing out. Mar DeRozan with 21 in the first half. It's, it's my first time coming home and play since I, you know, my dad passed. You know, he he was at every game. You know, he didn't miss miss no game. So tonight was kind of one of those games that, you know, I wish he was here. You know, I try to enjoy it. With my teammates understand you come back home playing in front of uh, family and friends. You got to enjoy it. We're still growing. We're still getting better. You know, I'm I'm really excited just to kind of see where this team can go. Under a minute to go for the Bulls, up by six. Zach, come on! Oh, stop oh, it! No! Stop it! Stop it! Big time onions! He's a shot maker. Another professional scorer on this team. Bulls win! Bulls win! Bulls win! 100 to 90. What happens happens how it needs to happen. I couldn't be more happier than. In Chicago, honestly. I think tomorrow might be even another test for us on a back-to-back -back against a good L.A. team that after having a little success against the Clippers, we're going to see, you know, how we show up and how we compete. Obviously, you know, we're down two starters right now, but, you know, it's really a testament to Billy and the coaching staff and not only those guys, but also the roster as well. You know, I think we're pretty deep, and I think, you know, the beginning of this trip is showing that. Um, you know, we've been successful thus far, being 9-4, and four, and, uh, you know, onward and upwards. Here's the former Laker, Lonzo, ball for three. Oh, bang, bang, bang. Good start from distance for the Bulls. And here's Levine all the way. Oh, let me get some butter with that roll. Bulls have taken a dozen-point advantage with a minute 46 to play in the first. So this is a pretty cool moment, too. Alex Caruso is looking up at the scoreboard, and they're giving him the ovation after the video. I'll tell you what, they love this kid in L.A. He's getting the standing ovation right now from the, the crowd here in L.A. It's really special, and the bond I have with the fans, you know, it's still there, it still resonates. It'll be great to see them. Obviously, when the ball goes up, I'll, I'll be pretty focused on the game. Getting the GOAT welcome. Down the floor, on the runway, DeMar DeRozan with a right-handed power dunk. Levine up ahead to Lonzo Ball, good pass! Nice. That time, Zach gave it to Zoe. And down the floor, right full court. Levine turns the corner and throws it down. Baseline left, two-handed slam dunk. Bulls win. Bulls win. Bulls win. 121 to 103. I mean, it's so good. First and foremost, it feel good to get a victory on the road. First two tough teams. Um, it's always fun to come home and play, but the goal is always try to get a victory and feel good to get a victory. You know, and I give them a lot of credit coming out of the Golden State situation and have been on this road trip, the way they've responded on this back-to-back. -back. And, you know, we'll see what we can, you know, can we respond again going into Portland. Thirty-eight to twenty-two, the Blazers have outscored the Bulls since late the second quarter. That's why it's down to a four-point game. Down by twenty, late second quarter, trailing by fifteen at the break. I think in that third quarter we needed to be a little bit more physical and a little bit more attentive because we let them get back into the game. The Sumu on Lillard. Lillard for three. Tie game. Side three ball, good. Damian Lillard. The back tap by Nurkic to McCollum. Open top side three, good. C.J. McCollum and the Portland Trailblazers have erased a 15-point halftime deficit to take a 94-92 lead. 6.20 to play. Here's Levine. Now he takes the three. It connects. Uh, I'll tell you what. He just got teed up, and he is frustrated. Well, here we go. You wanted a game, folks? You got one. Here's Little. Tough drive, and it rolls home. You know, give credit to them for fighting back. We've done that all year, and, you know, that the game isn't over until the buzz is over. DeRozan and Ball leaking out. Ball scores. Huge basket to get They're it back down playing. to four with three minutes to go. Two possession game here, a lot of time left. Levine picking up McCollum. There's the step back jumper. Good defense, Zach Levine, a Caruso. Good box the out and a ball accelerating again. Get off me. Oh, get off Nasir. me. Little probably should have gotten tagged with a foul and blow scored you, again. Hey, he came, hey, that was a determined drive. He said, get off me. I'm going right to the rim. Two point game, 220 to go. DeRozan picked up by Nurkic on the switch. Levine, that's a three. Big shot. Good! Oh, big shot, Levine. Wow. One point game, two minutes to play. 
They got to stop switching their screen with Nurkic. They got to stay connected to Lillard on this screen. Me driving to the rack. Got it. In traffic. A sack attack to the rack. 107 to 106 Bulls. Levine has been terrific with 30. We just didn't. I, we, we didn't we didn't play through the level of physicality that we needed to in my opinion blazers have come all the way back to take the lead they lead by three here neither team has a foul to give ball will inbound levine caruso DeRozan, and bradley the five out there levine gets free this is a three to tie it off the front rim oh he got a good look too wow that was a nice play yeah and that, folks, is the ball game as the Portland Trailblazers down by 20 late second quarter, trailing by 15 at the break, come from behind and beat the Chicago Bulls here in the road city of Portland, Oregon, 112-107. Uh, yeah, today was, you know, like you said, disappointment, a uh, bad loss, but um, can't harp our heads on it too much. Watch the film, learn from it, and uh, move on to Denver. It's been a good road trip, so this is an opportunity for them to close it out strong and get another quality win uh, without Jokic in the lineup. I don't think anyone really expected them to be 11-5 and five at this point in the season. AK and Mark Eversley did a great job of going out and getting DeMar DeRozan, and they had a vision clearly that maybe a lot of people didn't see, but you can start to see it coming together. I think they just complement each other from their scoring abilities. You know, you can have Zach Levine take the ball and score it from anywhere. DeMar DeRozan is a killer in the mid-range area. So whenever you need a bucket, you've got two guys now who you can give it to. And when Vucevic comes back, it's going to be even better. So it seems fun to watch. Uh, it's been a fun start to this year, and you hope that they continue this going forward. Everybody in Denver uh, thinks extremely highly of Arturis. I know that they were extremely happy to see him get the job um, running the Chicago Bulls. I think it's pretty evident from his time in Denver that he's really smart, he's calculating, um, he has a lot of bright ideas. People in Denver raved about the person that he is, the relationships that he has, the, the clout that he has when he walks into a gym. Um, it's throughout the league. People respect who Arturis is. And again, to not be scared to take the chances that he did, you know, trade some first round picks for the immediate return that you guys have now had. He's turned the franchise around in, I mean, a season and a half. It's pretty unbelievable to do. It's like he came to the conclusion that we're the Chicago Bulls and that we're not supposed to be you know, waffling in mediocrity. And he realized that and he acted on it. Ball driving green into the paint. Tough left-hand oh, finish. He with that roll. Bean sizing up green. Fading from the baseline. Tough shot, oh. Zach Levine. His first field goal of the quarter. He's got a dozen. Ball up ahead to Derek Jones. Jr. Oh, come fly with me. We're a really resilient team. We're out here to complete the task, going out here trying to win each and every game, and if there's a bump in the road, we respond the right way. Lonzo Ball, tough oh, spin to the rim. He just undressed Morris. No, I'm not surprised. This speaks to who Arturis is. Good Levine play. all the way to clutch. Oh. He considered how these pieces work together and wasn't scared to make a huge commitment to DeMar DeRozan. DeRozan back, spinning, and hitting it. Yeah. I mean, as a team, we just, we all over there just enjoying each other's success. Eight in the first half, he's got eight in the third out of the gate. We love when the other guy is having a great night. We know Zach and Damar, they have their chance to, to break out, and once they get going, it's, it's real hard to stop them. You know, Zach, you know, carried a shooting the ball. It's remarkable to watch him, and I'm very fortunate and blessed to watch a guy shoot the ball the way he does in the degree of difficulty. Oh, what a pass to Joe! Oh, Derek Jones is feasting off the dive cut tonight. I knew coming into the season, after preseason, I wasn't going to be starting or in the rotation because I did just come off an injury. So, I mean, I just I just waited my turn. Stay ready. Feed to Jones. <laughs> Boy, he, hey man, he swole up. Coach know that, I mean, I get to the rim fast, so just trying to set screens and, and get to the rim as much as I can. And, and whenever they drive, my man help, they dip it, they dock, they dish it off, and I just finish. That's, that's just what I get to do, and I'm playing the five right now. No, that was ridiculous. He jumped like right outside the dotted lines. It was, uh, I mean, you locked in in the game, but it just takes you back when you, when you really see that. One to shoot. Levine's got a hoist to beat the buzzer. Oh, stop it! Stop it! 
Give me the hot sauce, Zach. Woo! And listen to this crowd. Let's go, Bulls. We're going to pick it up. Very fun. It's, it's, just, it's different when the away crowd is, is chanting, let's go, Bulls. And, I just never had that in my career. I, I've never gone to a city and the team, what well, that city is chanting for my team. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure if we were at the United Center or Ball Arena. The Bulls fans were out in full force tonight. I give the crowds that were here supporting us you know, credit for trying to drown them out. Bulls Nation has taken over the Ball Arena here in Denver. I thought it was amazing. Really appreciate all the Bull fans coming out and supporting us the way they did. I felt like both LA games were home games. And I felt like Denver here was a home game. So, I mean, it was unbelievable. I really appreciate the people coming out and supporting us the way they did. Let's go, Bulls! Let's go, Bulls! The Chicago Bulls have been, like I said, waffling for X amount of years, and Arturis erased that in a season and a half. That is a testament to, again, his conviction, his aggressiveness, and this idea that he has that he wanted to implement. He went and got his guys. Criticism be damned. This ball game is over. Ah, oh, you gotta love it. The first win in Denver since February of 2006. Hey, Bulls fans, for more all access content, click here.